Good morning. Welcome to Holy Land News. We start with a recap on the developing story of Jesus. It is now exactly 50 days since the first sightings of him were reported, three days after his crucifixion. Various other reports have come in of sightings in the local area, but no one was able to secure an interview with either the man himself or any of the apostles. Then, 10 days ago, reports came in of a highly unusual cloud formation near Bethany. Mystery now surrounds the whereabouts of Jesus himself, but his followers are believed to be somewhere within the greater Jerusalem area. We promise that if there is any news, you will hear it first on HLN, so stay tuned in. Coming up, controversial plans for a new temple. Herod's latest edicts, international pilgrim season in Jerusalem, the latest weather and... Sorry, I'm going to have to interrupt this bulletin. We have some urgent breaking news. So I'm going to hand over straight away to our roving correspondent in Jerusalem. What's going on, Helen? This is Helen Highwater reporting from downtown Jerusalem, a scene of absolute chaos. Crowds are gathering outside a small rooming house, which has a huge cloud above it, and the wind in the immediate area is extraordinarily strong. A member of the crowd told me that he had seen about a dozen men entering this building, and immediately afterwards, it sounded as if explosions were taking place inside. Oh no! I can see horrific flames coming from the roof of the building. No, no, I'm totally wrong. The fire is not coming from the building, but from the cloud above. I have no idea how this is happening, and neither have the crowd. They're pushing back in confusion. This is awful. Surely no one inside can survive. Now what is happening? The winds and the clouds have suddenly dissipated. Everything is perfectly silent. I don't believe this. Men are actually emerging from the building. Could these be the 12 apostles everyone has been looking for? They look radiant or they're talking to individuals in the crowd. I wish I could get closer to hear what they're saying, but my microphone lead is too short. There's movement in the crowd now. They're turning to one another in amazement. One of the 12 is stepping forward as if he may be about to address the crowd. Let's listen to what he has to say. I am Peter, and as promised, at last we have been blessed by the Holy Spirit. We can now carry out our mission to bring the good news of our Lord Jesus to you all in a language that you will understand. Well, I certainly heard that. What now? The local police have arrived and are firing tear gas into the crowd. They're scattering in all directions. A group are huddled together coming towards me. Their dress suggests that they are tourists. I will try to interview some of them. Good morning, sir. Could you give me your name and tell me your impression of what has taken place? Certainly. I'm Aristotle, and normally everything is all Greek to me, but I understood every word of what was said. And your view, sir? No, no, no. I am Omar from Egypt, and they were talking perfect Arabic. And what do you want to say, sir? No, 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 they're both are wrong. I am Luigi from Roma, and they spoke Immaculate Latin. Well, lots of different languages then. They were all quite emotional. <coughs> oh, the gas has reached me. <coughs> I cannot breathe. <coughs> I cannot carry on. So it's back to Earl E. Bird in the newsroom. I hope she's all right. Hopefully we'll be able to return to her again soon. 
She certainly went to hell and high water to bring us that fast-paced report. <clears throat> Let me recap for those who have just tuned in. Reports have been coming in of an unusual event in the outskirts of Jerusalem. We understand that the apostles of Jesus were involved. And, oh, we are now able to return to Helen for the latest developments. Thank you, Earl. Things here now are much calmer. The huge crowd and more to the point, the 12 have disappeared. I have managed to grab the chief of police to explain the reasons behind his actions. Sir. Thank you for giving me this opportunity to speak. As you know, Herod has banned groups of ten or more people gathering in one place, and he ordered me to disperse the mob. My team and I arrived and saw such frenzy amongst the people that I realised drastic action was necessary, hence the use of the tear gas. I think you must agree, Helen, that this course of action was expedient. certainly was effective. Thank you very much for that interesting and honest comment. I think that's all for now from Jerusalem. This is Helen Highwater handing you back to Earl E. Bird in the newsroom. Thank you again, Helen. Unfortunately, we're running out of time for this bulletin. I will leave you with an official comment from Herod's office about this morning's events. The statement reads, this morning events were a case of mass hysteria and the truth of it is that there is no truth in Helen Highwater's account and that these men had just had too much to drink. HLN leaves it to you to draw your own conclusions.